Hey, what's up? It's me, Arlene Freina. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want to share with you the book that I bought, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. But I want to, sh to let you hear the audio book. So let us uh, listen to this, to this book because this book is uh, very good. It helped me to open my mind, to reset my my brain to gain more success in life especially in financial literacy i want also for you to listen i will let you hear the audio book audio book uh, the list the lessons to this book so i will play it please listen to this You know, Robert Kiyosaki is a, is a, is an American author. I had two fathers, a rich one and a poor one. One was highly educated and intelligent. He had a PhD and completed four years of undergraduate work in less than two years. The other father never finished the eighth grade. Ah, he's not disturbed me. He has two dads. Dad advising me offered me the choice of contrasting points of view, one of a rich man and one of a poor man. Instead of simply accepting or rejecting one or the other, I found myself thinking more, comparing, and then choosing for myself. The problem was, the rich man was not rich yet, and the poor man not yet poor. Both were just starting out of their careers, and both were struggling with money and families. But they have very different points of view about the subject of money. For example, one dad would say, the love of money is the root of all evil. The other, the lack of money is the root of all evil. As a young boy, having two strong fathers, both influencing me, was difficult. I wanted to be a good son and listen, but the two fathers did not say the same things. The contrast in their points of view particularly where money was concerned, was so extreme that I grew curious and intrigued. I began to start thinking for long periods of time about what each was saying. Much of my private time was spent reflecting, asking myself questions such as, why does he say that? And then asking the same question of the other dad's statement. It would have been much easier to simply say, yeah, he's right, I agree with that, or to simply reject the point of view by saying, the old man doesn't know what he's talking about. Instead, having two dads whom I love force me to think and ultimately choose a way of thinking for myself. As a process, choosing to think for myself turned out to be much more valuable in the long run rather than simply accepting or rejecting a single point of view. One of the reasons the rich get richer, the poor get poorer, and the middle class struggles in debt is because the subject of money is taught at home not in school. Most of us learn about money from our parents. So what can a poor parent tell their child about money? They simply say, stay in school and study hard. The child may graduate with excellent grades, but with a poor person's financial programming and mindset. Yes, that's it was what our parents the child teaching was young. us. Money is not taught in schools. Schools focus on scholastic and professional skills, True. but not financial skills. This yes. explains how smart bankers, doctors, and accountants who are in excellent grades in school may still struggle financially all their lives. Our staggering national debt is due in large part to highly educated politicians and government officials making financial decisions with little or no training on the subject of money. I often look ahead to the new millennium 
and wonder what will happen when we have millions of people who will need financial and medical assistance. They will be dependent upon their families or the government for financial support. What will happen when Medicare and Social Security run out of money? How will a nation survive if teaching children about money continues to be left to parents, most of whom will be, or already are, poor? Because I had two influential fathers, I learned from both of them. I had to think about each dad's advice, and in doing so, I gained valuable insight into the power and effect of one's thoughts on one's life. For example, one dad had a habit of saying, I can't afford it. The other dad forbade those words to be used. He insisted I say, how can I afford it? One is a right. payment, and the other is a question. The rich dad cash flow quadrant. Rich dad on Brilliance Audio presents the unabridged recording of Rich Dad's Cash Flow Quadrant: Guide to Financial Freedom by Robert T. Kiyosaki, performed by Timothy Wheeler. My rich dad used to say, "You can never have true freedom without financial freedom." He would go on to say, "Freedom may be free, but it has a price." This book is dedicated to those who are willing to pay the price. Editor's note: The times they are a changing. There have been many changes in our economy and the investing landscape since Rich Dad Poor Dad was first published in 1997. 14 years ago, Robert Kiyosaki challenged conventional wisdom with his.